Well, hello and welcome to Christmas Eve worship with children. Um, it's an exciting night. It's the biggest story of the year. And I'm delighted that you're here to join me for it. We'll begin tonight's worship service with lighting our Christ candle. Because we always remember that Jesus is the light of the world. And the darkness will not overcome that light. And here we have another story that is a nickname of Jesus, is that he's our good shepherd. And we love to think of all those little sheep as us, and that God wants as many people as possible in that sheepfold as a part of God's family. We set these matches here. And we'll look at how the church tells time. We're going to move from the last Sunday in Advent to a special space, the star, for Christmas Day. But really, we're moving it for Christmas Eve. There we go. And it's the one piece on our whole circle that is not always on a Sunday. All the other pieces are one Sunday in one whole year. But this special day, Sunday, happens on every day of the week. So that's where we're putting it for today because it's our Christmas Eve service. We love to leave out our beautiful nativity all year long to remember the birth of Jesus because that was so important. And if we didn't have the birth of Jesus, there wouldn't be a Christian church. And we are followers of Christ. So it's a beautiful setting for our worship space. And I hope you enjoy it too from home. And now I have a special uh, surprise for you. Miss Ashley is on a little bit of a break. And so Pastor Kevin Howe is going to sing our three songs. Two of them are really for Christmas night, and one is an epiphany song. So we'll have those songs for today, for tonight, and for the next two services. So I hope you enjoy the singing with Pastor Kevin. Hi friends, it's Pastor Kevin, and today we're going to sing three songs before we go any further today. And the first one is Joy to the World. There's a lot of joy in this season. So you ready? Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare in room. And heaven and nature see, and heaven and nature see. next song we're going to do is Away in a Manger. So you ready? Okay, the next song we're going to sing is We Three Kings. Now you got to do your best king for me. Are you ready? We three kings of Orient are Bearing gifts we traverse afar Field and fountain, moor and mountain Following yonder star 
Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Great job. Now that we're at our table, it is time to collect our offering. God has given each of us so many blessings that it's right to give our offerings back to God. And that can be money, coins, or dollars. It can be giving your heart to God for the week. You can place your heart, your hand on your heart, and then in whatever offering uh, bowl that you have. Or you can offer a prayer of something that you will give to God this week. Since this is our Christmas Eve worship, uh, and it will be also for the Sunday after Christmas, and this, the first Sunday of Epiphany, maybe you could promise to give God something back for all of the things that you were given at Christmas. Maybe you could uh, look through your clothing if you got new clothes for Christmas. Maybe you could find some that still look really good that you could give to children who don't have any clothing or who need new clothing. Uh, maybe you could go through your toys and donate them. There are lots of ways that we can give back to God, especially in this season. So whatever offering you have to give, I know that God is happy with each and everything. Now let's get ready to hear our story. And we do that by singing the Be Still song. It helps get our mind and our bodies quiet and ready to focus on the story that I'll tell. So we start by putting your finger to your lips, kind of like you're saying, shh. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. This is a special story this evening. We've come so far through the season of Advent and this special day, this evening, that we're going to celebrate by going all the way through Advent, remembering the stories of how we got here, and then going ahead and telling the story of the birth of Jesus. So, let's start by remembering the people and the stories that helped us get to this special day. The first candle of the season of Advent helps us remember the prophet Isaiah. And Isaiah reminds us of hope. Hope for the people in Isaiah's time, in Jesus' time, and in our time. Let's enjoy the light of the candle of hope.
next we get to, to remember the story of Elizabeth and the feeling of peace that she felt when she comforted Mary as they both prepared to give birth to special sons. Here's Elizabeth. Light is growing as our story grows. Our third candle reminds us of the Holy Family and the joy they felt at expecting God's special Son, Jesus. Here are Mary and Joseph and the donkey. And here is our pink candle of joy. Now the light is really growing. I love it when we're able to celebrate in person in the evening of Christmas Eve and our worship center is dark or very dim and the lights really shine brightly. And next. We're going to move everyone so close to Bethlehem. And our fourth candle is for love. And in this one, we remember the love a shepherd has for his sheep just like God has for us. Here's our shepherd and his little tiny flock of sheep. We just have three right here to represent the shepherds. And here is the candle. for love. And now we are going to go all the way to Bethlehem. Mary and Joseph and the donkey. Elizabeth will come close and the shepherd with their sheep are almost there. And 
And now we're ready to light our last candle, which is our Christ candle. And I'm going to go get that big candle to be the last one for tonight. Here we go. Here is our last candle to end the season of Advent. It's the candle of Jesus the Christ, the candle that reminds us that what Isaiah told so long ago, that there is a light that will come to us. It's a light that shines in the darkness, and the darkness cannot and will not overcome it. So we now light that light. And let me introduce you to our little baby Jesus. We're going to put him right in between Mary and Joseph in our story. Jesus is the Christ child that we've been waiting all this long time to celebrate and to welcome. Jesus, who will grow up to be someone more special than the world has ever known. Jesus, the reason we celebrate Christmas. Happy birthday, Jesus. Here are your candles. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? It's a sweet, sweet story. Don't you enjoy the light of all the candles of Advent and Christmas being lit at the same time, sharing that light with the whole world? What a gift that is. So for your prayer time with your family, after you enjoy your feast at home with whatever you have, crackers, goldfish, some kind of snack that is a cracker or bread-like thing, and a little cup of water or juice, whatever you have, we remember that Jesus showed us the way to live in this world and during that, that uh, fellowship time with your family, I want you to talk about and pray and give thanks for whatever is your favorite thing about Christmas. Maybe you love the Christmas tree. Or maybe you love going out to look at Christmas lights. Maybe it's the gift, that special gift that someone brought you. Talk about that with your family and then write a family prayer for Christmas to God, telling God everything that's in your heart. My hope for you this Christmas Eve is that even though it's a different kind of Christmas, that you will be filled with hope and peace and joy and love from your family and friends. That's how we know that God is still here with us today. And so I wish you the comfort of all of those things. And I can't wait to see you back here for worship on the Sunday after Christmas. I love you and wish you all a really Merry Christmas. Bye.